Hello everyone welcome to back my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In an exclusive interview with the US Sun, Howie, 67, revealed his response to the negative social media reactions to his jokes. Throughout season 18, Howie has been under fire for taking digs at Sophia's divorce from her ex Joe Manganiello. As Howie addressed the tension exclusively with the U.S. Sun, he confessed, I'm not trying to wind up the audience. I do read all of the comments and it's hard. The comedian looked directly into the camera to address his audience and admitted, If you're commenting, you are hurting my feelings, that's okay. The point is, I can only be me, and I think if you saw me doing something because you wanted me to get a response, or you saw me doing something because I was just trying to be patronizing and nice, I think that wouldn't come off authentic. Howie continued, All I want to be is authentic, and all I want to be is honest, and I don't think what I say curbs your opinion at all. You're just hearing what I think. The AGT judge declared, What I think isn't the end all and be all. America is voting, America is choosing, and I'm choosing who I like and telling you how I was affected by anything we see. Howie said, I think there's a lot of people who agree with me and they're not going to reach out to me on social media to agree. But if they disagree, then they are typing, so those are the people you're going to hear from the most. I'm assuming millions of people are watching and during a show only hundreds of people don't agree with what I'm saying. When asked if he is affected by the comments, Howie shared, I do care. I'm a human being who has feelings and they ask me to show up here. Terry says, Howie, what do you think? I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you what I think because people are going to get mad at me. Howie announced, I'm going to tell you what I think. D-H-E-G-R-I-N-C-H. Heidi Klum, 50, revealed that her fellow AGT judges often see Howie as the negative one. Talking exclusively with the U.S. Sun, Heidi revealed, Howie's gotten very honest and harsh. She shared, I could find something negative in an act if I really want to, but I like to find the positive in what I just saw. Heidi confessed, Howie's the Grinch, we call him the Grinch. He always finds some kind of pun after something happened, and then he mushes it up and crazy stuff comes out. But that's why there's four different people sitting there. The supermodel concluded, We have four different opinions. We see different things and everyone should have their opinion. I just don't say it as harshly, maybe, as he does. How no always be NTR. When Howie made a joke on live television about her co-host Sophia, 51, and her ex Joe's divorce, fans were shocked. But an insider has claimed the banter is all out of love. Sophia didn't take the on-air dig personally and has been happy to play along with the jokes about her divorce because Howie is a close friend. On August 22, a child ventriloquist named Brain Cummings auditioned for AGT. Her skit was about her puppet coping after a rough breakup. In reaction to her performance, Howie joked, If I have one word of advice, if you're looking for an eligible bachelor, you should have talked to Sophia because she's in the market right now. The audience booed and AGT host Terry Crews, 55, said, No, no, we are not doing that here. Meanwhile, Sophia leaned into the joke, threw her fists up in the air, and shouted, Yay! Later, in a statement to E.T., Howie said, she came over and she thought it was funny. She said it was good and said how much she wants that. The only reason I'm doing press today is I'm just doubling down on it. I'm her bumble. She approved of the joke. She thought it was funny, she posted afterward. But the internet is mad. Tonight, fans will learn who will win the dollar one million prize and a spot at the prestigious AGT presence Sisu PERSTRS Live at Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This season's finalists include the 82nd Airborne Division All American Chorus, the Mizanci Youth Choir, Adrian Stoika, and his dog Hurricane, comedian Aaron Belisel, magician Anna de Guzman, dance groups Avantgarde, Chibi Unity, and Murmuration.
vocalists Lavender Darkangillo and Putri Ariani, and head balance act Ramadani Brothers. The second part of the two-night season finale concludes tonight, September 27, at 9 p.m. ET PT, with incredible, show-stopping performances alongside the top 11 finalists, including guest performances from the world-renowned chef Kat Cora, award-winning songwriter Diane Warren, pop icon Jason Derulo, acclaimed musician John Batiste, multi-platinum selling band 30 Seconds to Mars, and America's Got Talent, season 17 winner The Mayas. Howie Mandel, one of the beloved judges on the popular television show America's Got Talent, AGT, is known for his quirky humor, quick wit, and unfiltered opinions. His role as a judge on the hit talent show has spanned more than a decade, making him a familiar and beloved face to millions of viewers worldwide. But in recent times, Howie has found himself in a somewhat unexpected position, being cast as the villain in the eyes of some fans, particularly after a live incident involving fellow judge Sofia Vergara. The moment that thrust Mandel into this unwelcome spotlight occurred during a live broadcast of AGT, when his playful comments about Sofia Vergara's personal life drew loud boos from the audience and a less than amused response from Vergara herself. As the crowd reacted, Verga returned to Mandel and booed him along with the audience, intensifying the moment. This playful yet uncomfortable exchange has sparked a broader conversation about Mandel's evolving role on the show and the sometimes blurred line between humor and hurt. The booing incident, what happened? To set the stage, the specific incident that caused such a stir took place during a lighthearted moment on AGT. Mandel, known for his teasing nature, made a joke that alluded to Vergara's recent separation from her husband, Joe Manganiello. The comment, though made in jest, seemed to hit a nerve, leading to an immediate wave of disapproval from the audience. As boos rained down, Vergara, ever the professional, turned the tables by joining in the booing herself, a move that brought some levity to an otherwise tense situation. From a comedic perspective, Mandel's comment was in line with the banter and friendly teasing that often happens on AGT. The judges, including Simon Cowell and Heidi Klum, regularly exchange jabs in a manner that's meant to be entertaining rather than hurtful. However, with Sophia's personal life being a sensitive topic, especially in the wake of her recent divorce, the joke struck a chord that many felt was inappropriate for the moment. Howie Mandel, the villain? In the days following the incident, the internet lit up with divided opinions. While some fans defended Mandel, pointing out that his humor has always been edgy and that he likely meant no harm, others were less forgiving, accusing him of crossing a line. It's not uncommon for reality TV judges to find themselves at the center of controversy, but for Howie, who has always been seen as more of a comedic and light-hearted presence on the show, this shift in perception has been particularly difficult. In an interview reflecting on the incident, Mandel admitted that being seen as the villain by some fans was painful. I'm a comedian, and I've been doing this for a long time. But it hurts when you're just trying to make people laugh, and suddenly you're the bad guy, he said. I never want to hurt anyone, especially my fellow judges who I have so much respect for. Mandel has also spoken about how the dynamics of live TV can sometimes make these moments difficult to navigate. Unlike scripted shows or pre-recorded segments, live television leaves no room for edits or second thoughts. Once a joke is made or a reaction occurs, it's out there for the world to see and interpret as they will. In this case, what may have been intended as harmless teasing took on a life of its own, leading to a backlash that Mandel didn't anticipate. The Role of Humor in Reality TV Humor has always been a central part of AGT's appeal. The show, which features a wide variety of acts ranging from singers to comedians to magicians, relies heavily on the chemistry between the judges to keep the audience engaged. Mandel, in particular, has carved out a niche as the funny guy on the panel, often lightening the mood with his jokes and quirky personality. However, as Mandel himself has pointed out in interviews, comedy can be a tricky business, especially in today's climate. What's funny to one person can be offensive to another, 
and jokes that once would have been seen as harmless can now be interpreted in entirely different ways. This is especially true when the subject of the joke is someone's personal life, as was the case with Vergara. Vergara's recent divorce has been a topic of much public interest, with tabloids and fans alike speculating about the reasons behind the split. For Mandel, the decision to make light of this topic may have seemed like a way to inject some humor into the show, but for many viewers, it came across as insensitive. The reaction from the audience, and from Vergara herself, was immediate and clear. This was not a subject to be joked about. A changing media landscape. Part of the challenge for someone like Howie Mandel is that the landscape of comedy and entertainment has changed dramatically in recent years. Social media has given fans a louder voice than ever before, and reactions to live events are instant and often amplified. A single moment on television can quickly become a viral sensation, with viewers weighing in from around the globe. In the case of the AGT incident, the backlash wasn't just confined to the studio audience. Within minutes of the show airing, clips of the exchange were circulating on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube with fans offering their own takes on what had happened. Some were quick to defend Vergara, arguing that Mandel's comment was inappropriate given the circumstances. Others, however, came to Mandel's defense, noting that his humor has always been edgy and that Vergara herself didn't seem too offended in the moment. This instant feedback loop can be a double-edged sword for performers like Mandel. On the one hand, it allows for immediate connection with fans, but on the other hand, it means that any misstep is magnified and scrutinized in real time. What may have been a fleeting moment in a live broadcast becomes a much bigger issue once it hits the internet, where context is often lost. Howie and Sophia. A complicated relationship? Despite the incident, it's important to note that Howie Mandel and Sophia Vergara have generally had a positive and playful relationship on AGT. The two have often engaged in light banter, with Mandel's teasing often serving as comic relief during more serious moments on the show. It's clear that the judges enjoy a good-natured camaraderie, which is a key part of the show's dynamic. However, the incident does raise questions about how far that banter can go before it crosses a line. In this case, it seems that Mandel may have misjudged the situation, turning what was meant to be a joke into something more uncomfortable. For her part, Vergara has not publicly expressed any lasting anger or resentment toward Mandel, and it seems likely that the two will continue to share the same friendly rapport on future episodes of AGT. That said, the incident serves as a reminder that even among friends, humor can be a delicate thing. What might seem funny in the moment can take on a different meaning when personal feelings are involved, and it's important for performers, especially those in the public eye, to be mindful of how their words may be received. The future of AGT and Mandel's role. So where does this leave Howie Mandel and his role on AGT? For now, it seems that he will continue to be a central part of the show, bringing his unique brand of humor and personality to the judging panel. While the incident with Vergara may have been a bump in the road, it's unlikely to have any long-term impact on his position with the show. In fact, some might argue that moments like these are part of what makes live television so compelling. AGT, like many other reality shows, thrives on unpredictability. The live format means that anything can happen, and sometimes that includes uncomfortable or controversial moments. For viewers, these moments are often what keep them tuning in, eager to see what will happen next. As for Mandel, he has expressed a desire to move forward and continue doing what he loves, making people laugh. I've been in this business for a long time, he said. You learn to take the good with the bad. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to entertain people, and I hope they know that. While some fans may see him as the villain for now, it's likely that Mandel will continue to be a beloved figure on AGT for years to come. After all, in the world of entertainment, public opinion is always shifting, and what's controversial today may be forgotten by tomorrow. For Howie Mandel, the key is to keep moving forward, keeping his humor sharp and his heart in the right place.
Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our Update World 24 YouTube channel for more update news.